This is my ColourPop Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick Lip Swatch video. Before I get into the video though, um, into the swatches anyway, I want to give you guys some little background information. Yes, the color just changed on the screen because I was looking hella hard. Okay, so um, I want to give you guys some information, some background on these um, liquid lipsticks. My thoughts and how I felt about them. Now, I have watched, I God knows how many um, review videos on these ultra matte liquid lipsticks from ColourPop um, from the moment every big time YouTuber got them for free to the moment they sold out within a blink of an eye um, to the moment they came back on July 28th and I ordered me some <laughs> to the moment I received them on July 31st I have been watching videos upon videos upon videos it's really hard to find videos of women of color swatching these so Diva's gonna come through for you guys um there had I mean there's some out there but not a lot so I decided I'll do it for you guys I'll do it for you guys so I'm gonna do it for you guys okay so what I have to say about these ultra matte liquid lipsticks you're either gonna love them or you're gonna hate them. There's a lot of reviews out there that just bash the hell out of these ultra matte liquid lipsticks from ColourPop. I don't feel that they should have been batched, batched, bashed as much or as harshly as some of these videos I have watched. Um, there are some people who gave up out there two three swatches okay the, the darker ones are this that and i can already tell what this is there's a lot of people saying these are horribly drying there's a lot of people saying really you know without giving it some thought without giving it a try you know your first impressions that's what you're going to think okay so i have played around with these um liquid lipsticks i have swatched all 15 on my lips beforehand, so i can get a feel of the formula so i can get a feel of how they wear how they go on how they apply the opaqueness whether they are um streaky screechy streaky streaky <laughs> or patchy or clumpy or just plain horrible on the lips i have gone through and made sure the colors that i chose were in my opinion women of color friendly so I have done all that for you guys and I have some information for you guys I have 15 colors in total out of those 15 colors there are three of them that I wouldn't say hor there is okay out of those three one of them is absolutely horrible you can't do crap with Two of them are worth. So if you've never ordered anything from ColourPop before, then you don't know how awesome their packaging is. This is what the packaging looks like. You get all your items wrapped in this awesome foam stuff here. And the whole package is wrapped from the bottom to the top and the sides. Everything is cocooned in this package. So basically, if you wanted to just lift this up out of the box, you could um so this is what the foam looks like and again everything is packaged in that foam this is what they look like inside your liquid lipsticks come in this like this i'm gonna pull out the three that i thought were just and here are the three liquid lipsticks from color pop that i off bat had issues with the colors I have is Pacific. Pacific in the tube looks like a muted uh, corally orange. Um, a lot of people say it's just a flat out orange color, but it don't look that way to me. I don't know. Some of these people I think might be colorblind. Cool. It's not a bright, bold orange. It's like a muted corally orange. Then you have Highball which is a bright um, pink with a blue base. Then you have Sunday, which is a pinky purple or pink or purpley pink, should I say, with a lavender or blue iridescent um, pearlized finish to it. And this is the only color in the collection that has that iridescent pearly finish to it. Um, 
Pacific is absolutely ratchet. Um, I don't know who they were fooling with Pacific, but it's a hot mess. It's a hot mess. And I'm the type of person, I like to give stuff a benefit of doubt. If I feel like it's a little streaky, maybe a little patchy, then I'll go in with a lip liner, line my lips, fill them in, and then I'll go over that lip liner with the coat, with the, with the lipstick. You can't do that with Pacific. It moves around. It's like, if you try to go over it, it kind of moves the product around, it wipes it away, it gets really clumpy, and the consistency of this is a lot thicker than the other um, liquid lipsticks. A um, matter of fact, these three in general, the consistency of the, um, the consistency is a lot thicker than the rest of them, which are really thin, which is what I really like. Cause when they're really thin, you have more time to work with them. You have more time to blend. You have more time to apply. You can let it dry and then you can apply another coat with no problem. You can't really do that with these three Pacific being the worst out of the three highball and Sunday. Sunday I thought was going to be the absolute worst. Sunday, I was about to throw Sunday up against the wall and set it on fire. But I tried the lip liner method. I did line my lips work with a corresponding lip liner, a lip liner that matched the color. I lined my lips and filled them completely in. And then I went over that with a layer, just one nice layer of the um, Sunday liquid lipstick. And it worked beautifully. I didn't have any issues after that. So um, Sunday, you can work with Sunday do um, prime your lips first, apply a lip liner, and you can get away with Sunday. Um, highball, same thing. Highball was not the worst of the three, but it did have some issues with being a little um, patchy, but applying a lip liner first and that problem goes out the door. Pacific, you cannot do that. Even if you put a lip liner on your lips, Pacific will wipe that lip liner off. It will become clumpy, patchy, streaky. It is just unworkable. And in my opinion, it is the worst color. There are 25 shades. I only have 15. I plan on getting three more. But out of the 15 I have, this is the absolute worst. I say pass on Pacific. Okay, so the other colors that I have is Solo, LAX, Trap, Zipper, Ouija, Tool, which if you guys don't know already, is the color I absolutely obsess over. It. This color, I will order like 20 of them just to have backups. I freaking love this color. Creeper. Avenue, <laughs> Drive In, Mars, Lychee, and Bumbo. Those are all the colors I have. I will be showing you guys these colors without any lip liners so I want you guys to see what they look like on their own but so you do know I always wear a lip liner except with the exception of tool tool I don't have to wear a lip liner tool is the only color I believe I have out of the 15 that you do not need a lip liner for a tool you can you do not have to wear a lip liner matter of fact LAX and creeper you don't need a lip liner for either so I take that back LAX creeper zipper and tool you do not need a lip liner for um, but normally especially when I'm wearing bright colors I will always go in with a lip liner first and I will line my lips and usually fill them in um, that's how I apply all my lipsticks matte cream pearl satin which I don't really wear liquid doesn't matter that's how I normally go in and do it um, I do recommend if you have a hard time with some of these colors being streaky or patchy trying a lip liner trying lining your lips and filling them in first and see how that works for you um as far as the other form as far as the other liquid lipsticks the formulas seem to be thin um they dry very very fast but i also find that um 
you have time to work with them and this is not including highball sunday or pacific those three you have to work really fast and you don't really have time to work you can't really apply a second coat because you can run the um you run the you run into the um, product becoming thick streaky patchy removing itself or um starting to crack but the other um ten, uh, not 10 the other 12 um those the formula for the other 12 are are nice they go on smooth they go on um nice and thin you are able to work with the product before it completely dries you are able to apply another layer on top after it completely dries um and they last all day through eating drinking all that kissing lasts all day so enough of that all right so i'm just gonna go in now and wipe off the color i have on this is not anything from ColourPop's cosmetics this is actually teddy bear from um milani i'm also going to show you guys how um easy it is to remove the product i heard a lot of people say that it was um that it was tough removing the product i did not have issues with um, removing the product or from my lips I also had, I heard a lot of people saying that the product was over drying or really 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 dry these liquid lips this ain't that damn dry no I swear people be over exaggerating sometimes I in my opinion did not find these liquid lipsticks to be drying at a wall they were very comfortable on the lips felt like I was wearing absolutely nothing okay and I didn't feel like my lips were being dehydrated now mind you you need to exfoliate to your lips if they're crusty beforehand um, I recommend applying a lip balm or something on the lips first let it marinate and then go in blot off the excess and then apply the liquid lipsticks I find that that works amazingly so try giving that a try okay let's get into the video Now, this is tool and it's not completely dry on my lips yet. No moving of the product, guys. But no removing of the product. So that was another issue a lot of people were having. Um, mind you, though, with Pacific, you will get moving of the product if you do that. But this is tool. Okay guys, so after, now, 
I swatched this on my lips two days ago and it applied patchy and horrible and I wasn't able to go on top of it with another color I mean I wasn't able to go on top with another color to make it better but for some reason right now it's showing out <laughs> okay um, the color although still I won't say patchy or streaky it's just a little on the sheer side it is applying a lot better this go round than it did originally um how dare you Guys, I look cray cray. My lips are starting to stain. I still don't have any burning or um, it's still easy to come off with just the makeup wipes alone. This guys is drive-in. Drive-in I find to be very comfortable. The most comfortable um, next to tool on the lips. It um, applies great and applies layers great and the color is great. I mean, look at it. At this point, guys, I am all outside the lines of my lips. My lips is all stained, so I'm trying to cover up this thing from the other colors. I'm looking all kinds of crazy. <sighs> but I do this for you.
Okay, guys. That concludes my swatch, lip swatches of the new ColourPop Ultra Matte Lippies. You should be able to get you some now. They are back in stock. There are three more that I want to still get. That's Donut First Base and... God, what's the other one? Donut First Base and... Donut First Base and Buds are the three that I still want to get and the only other three that I want to get. Um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. And if I miss anything, if you guys have any questions about any of the swatches, any of the colors, then let me know down in the comment section and I will um, do an update video for you guys. And yeah, that is it. I'm going to go wash my face, scrub my lips, and go to bed because I got to get up at... Six in the morning to go to work. So, I will catch you guys in another video. Bye, guys.